Hey, what's up, everybody? So, uh, real quick here, this is the uh, Iris Simulations uh, PC21 driver. And uh, if you really like uh, the way this aircraft looks, you can get it for free right now, as their whole product line is available for free through June 1st. So, if you haven't stopped by to take a look at uh, what they have. Uh, I'd say now would be a great time to do it. So, uh, yep, and uh, that's uh, everything free uh, until June 1st. Uh, unfortunately, I just now, for the first time ever, loaded this plane up, and I have never flown it before. I just know that I've wanted it forever, and now I finally got my hands on it. So I can't wait to learn everything about this. But right now I I haven't really taken the time yet, but I'm 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 pretty excited to have it now. Alright, so we're in Carrier Convoy Planner for FZX at War and I uh, just wanted to show the little tack pack function and um so what you could do what this option is um, basically just instantly place objects uh, at a given time in the sim. So uh, I had already gone ahead and added about four ships and uh, a Russian uh, 295 and um, yeah I just wanted to see uh, if they load up correctly and see how all this works. Basically what you do is, uh, let's say when you're, you're starting a new TPS file, uh, you just select this drop down here and like let's say simple AI aircraft and um, you just it pulls up the library of aircraft you have in your uh, flight sim directory and um, yeah. Now some of them have a little bit of uh, issues popping up like that was a newer one uh, but like all the FSX at war stuff seems to come up just fine see and um, so basically what you do is you just put an altitude which is uh, in meters um, true heading uh, speed and knots true airspeed and the, this is the important part, the time. So whatever time you put, you're going to want that to correspond uh, in the sim. So otherwise, uh, if it's a time that, that doesn't match, uh, you're not going to see your objects. They're not going to load in to the sim. So uh, you want to figure out what time you want everything to start at. And then... Um, when that time in the sim uh, comes, uh, it'll automatically start loading up all your objects and your little scenario uh, while you're in the sim. So that's basically all you do. Um, and then once you save all all the objects, you just hit save TPS. It creates a TPS file, and then for later, you could just hit import and just open it up. So, uh, in this case, it looks like I uh, just doubled the amount by loading that up twice, which is kind of funny. Okay. <laughs> all, right, all right. Well, let's let's see how this works. Um, so, start time eight oh nine. All right, and then uh, I believe I just hit add to monitor do you want to edit the TPS file no okay so in the monitor uh, here is my TPS file and it hasn't started yet but it's calling for a start time of 809 okay so first thing you want to do is connect 
to P3D or FSX, whatever you're using. Okay, so connected P3D. All right, so 8.09 is the start time, but 14.57 is the, the actual Zulu time or GMT time in FSX right now, or P3D that I have right now. So we want that to match, so we're going to have to change the time to uh, whatever, 8.09. Let's see. You know what? I think, uh, let's see here. Since here we are in the super bug. Time and season. So it's 7:58. Right, 8:17. Right. So we're at 15:17. So I will change this to 15, All right. All right, so let's see what happens. Let's see if this actually starts at the time we just uh, edited. So 1519 in a minute, it should start. All right, so meanwhile, I'm just gonna go ahead and take off and get airborne. First, let me see if we have the right kind of ordinance. Okay, two nine x's, nine twenty, eighty eight, four h. You know what? We're going ships here, so I'll, I'll stick with a couple eighty four d's. see what our situations oh and it started okay so uh, our objects should have been loaded now see the uh, monitor shows that the scenario has started so basically now we just go and find them and see if they actually are in the sim so whoa So when I place them uh, on the map, I place them out at sea quite a ways, so I'm going to have to switch to uh, the uh, surface radar C. Surface. 
surface. C, right? So they are out here somewhere. Increase the uh, range. Uh, ocean, uh, I want to call it the ocean radar, but uh, sea radar. Oh, looks like I got a contact. Awesome. I I believe that's them. That's that's my ships that I set. So let's see here. I got a lock on it. Oh, one of the cool things about the Super Hornet is that you could pull up the flare on the UFC. See that? It's pretty cool, isn't it? Mess with all the levels. Those are my ships. Looks like they loaded. That is pretty cool, man. Wow. I'm going to give them a little... Uh, Welcome flyby. Oh, is that our 295 up there? Oh, never mind. It should have been about four ships. I guess one didn't load. God, hit this camera. Sorry about that. Whoa, that's not right. All right, so <laughs> we got a, a little bit of a glitch there. It, it could have been because I uh, loaded the, the uh, TPS file twice. All right, so I uh, restarted the scenario and uh, loaded it up in the hopes that the ships will be placed correctly and uh, hopefully maybe spot that 295, but um, I mainly want to see if the ships work correctly, so I uh, should be approaching them. Well, I'm not seeing any shaking, and just for shits and giggles, I'm going to fire off a harpoon.
All right, looks like the uh, ships are working correctly, and uh, they should be moving along about 11 knots. But only two of them loaded. I'm thinking uh, that 295 just didn't load at all. I'll have to experiment more with that closer, but for now, I'm just happy the ship's loaded. Oh, okay. Looks like it was hanging on to that previous target. Yeah, it's probably not going to hit. I was surprised if it does. Nope. So, uh, just a uh, little review of our harpoons. Uh, we're in range-bearing launch mode, which is what you want to have uh, if you're going to designate via the radar. And uh, we have flights. I'll set that to uh, medium for now. And uh, we have a pop-up attack. Um, could change terminal velocity to skim. And seeker is large. So I'm just going to turn around see if I can spot it again. Gotcha. Enter. There it is. We are in zone. Harpoon away. Darn it. Boom! Got him. Burn it up real nice down there.
And it's pretty cool at how the ships actually sink. They just don't disappear instantly. See, I got a bunch of airplanes. Which is probably uh, not the uh, target I'm looking for. Yeah, I don't even think it loaded. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, that's just uh, how the TAC pack functionality works in a carrier convoy planner. And um, uh, both FSX at War and CCP are free. You can still find them uh, just by Googling, which will uh, probably lead you to the uh, VRS uh, website on the forums there. You'll find a link. I'll try to post it um, if I find it and it's still active. I'll post it in the video description. But uh, yeah, guys, I uh, just want to show a little super bug and um, I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.